Before I start the story, I'd like to say that I'm female. I was 15 at the time. I was cleaning up my boyfriend's shirts off the ground, and I saw a bird with an arrow through it on his sleeve, which reminded me of this, and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys and girls. I was 15 in New York. Not the city, of course, but around there. It was the last day of school, so me and my friends were going to go and get some ice cream. My friend brought along a guy. Let's call him James. James was 18 and really good looking, so I didn't have a problem with him coming along. But he was slightly off. But me being me, I brushed it off. As we were eating our ice creams, he was staring at me as I licked my ice cream. I rolled my eyes and walked to my friend. What's his problem? As I pointed to him, she looked nervous. What? James was staring at me as I licked my ice cream and it was fucking weird. She told me it was nothing. Maybe he likes me. I didn't care to be watched, so I went into the car and waited for them to finish their ice creams. I heard the back car door open. I looked behind me to see James climbing into the back seat. I never heard him really talk, but it was very deep and empowering. I saw you alone in here and I thought you'd like some company. I blushed since he's older and good looking. Over the ice cream pot, we sat talking, then into a heat make session. As we were, I felt something stick into my spine and it kinda hurt. I ignored it and one thing led to another. Later, my friends came back to the car and laughed at us and grossed out by the smell. I blushed and told them to stop it and then went back to chatting, but James was quiet the whole time. After a few days, I got a call from James. It took him long enough. I entered it and he was barely breathing and seemed tense. He hung up on me randomly. I ignored it. We stopped talking after that. On my 17th birthday, my family and I went into the city for some shopping and just a good time. I felt pain on my spine. I excused to go to the bathroom. I rubbed the spot on my back and felt a bump. It's weird. I asked my friend to take a picture of it with my phone. And to my horror, it was in the shape of a chip and my skin had grown over it. How the hell did that get there? Paranoid? I run to go find my parents, but I run into a man. No other than James. He dragged me into an alley and repeated to rape me behind a dumpster. I woke up in a dark place and he began to hit me. Of course, I was bawling my eyes out. I tried to hit him and kick him, but nothing worked. He'd bring in cats, for my love of cats, and cut open their necks or stomachs, and I was forced to watch them bleed to death. After three months, the police found a trail of blood at the door, probably from the cats. I went to the hospital, and I got tested and found out I was pregnant. I gave birth to a healthy baby girl. James was never found. The police got the chip out, and it was the same chip for a dog or animal if it runs away. You probably ask, what did the bird and arrow have to do to remind me? Because he had a tattoo of it on his chest, kind of like the Hunger Games symbol. As a now 23 year old girl, I will never go to the city again. Screw you, James.